Question 3.2. In an average middle-class household in South Africa, a 10-minute shower costs almost 13 rand, right? Or 1,3 rand per minute. If you have a normal 15 litre per minute shower head, right? So that's basically how much water is coming through your shower head every minute. By changing to a low flow shower head, that basically means fewer litres coming through, and reducing shower time to 6 minutes, you can reduce this cost of 13 rand to 4,2 um, 4 rand and 20 cents per shower or 70 cents per minute, right? So you can reduce it quite substantially. The graph on annex to B, okay, and remember whenever they say that, go and look your an up your annex to there it is there. Yours will be printed better. My printer is still being a bit sketchy, right? Then it says, so look at that. It, sh it shows more um, shows more detailed information on water and energy use per shower for a normal shower head and head flow sh and low flow shower head. You'll try to say that fast five times. Okay, <laughs> glossary. A low flow shower head reduces the rate of water flow. Here's a little sketch. My sketch looks like onions. I'm not sure what's going on there, but... I don't think it's particularly important to remember with these questions is the most important thing is to read the information but then go to the questions because the questions help you interpret the information so it says here use annex to b and the above information to answer the questions that follow a four minute shower uses 1,7 kilowatts of energy a 10 minute shower uses 4,3 kilowatts of energy calculate the percentage increase in kilowatts of energy used when taking a four minute shower compared to taking a 10 minute shower now what's quite important here is that students sometimes forget that when you shower right you use water but you also use electricity because how else do you warm up your water right so you use electricity and you use water so just take note of that okay so over here we don't actually need to use anisters because they've given us our amounts and they've also very kindly given us this formula so kilowatts used for 10 minutes Kilowatts used for four minutes, they've been so kind, right? So, kilowatts used for 10 minutes was 4.3. Kilowatts used for four minutes was 1.7 over 1.7, right? And we times it by 100. Now, interestingly here, they always put this percentage sign in here, but if you actually put that into your calculator, it kind of comes out a bit weirdly. So, let me just show you. So, 4.3 minus 1.7 over 1.7, and if you put it in like this, right? That's not actually the correct percentage, right? So what you need to do is when you put this in, don't put the percentage sign in when you put it into your calculator. Oh, I don't know if you can see properly there. Don't put it into your calculator. So don't put it in like this because it gives you this weird answer and that's not actually the right answer. So you need to not put the percentage sign in, get your answer, right? There's your answer there and then put the percent at the end, right? It's almost like a unit, right? So be careful because students do that quite inaccurately um so make sure you're not doing that we don't want you losing any marks okay remember i write it off to two decimal places when i'm rounding off to two decimal places we look at the third decimal it's below five therefore we round down and that's our answer okay let's continue to the next question right remember always write down your question number well so that your marker knows exactly what you're doing um, give one possible reason why you would advise someone to use a low flow shower head rather than a normal um, shower head. Now, this is not rocket science. Save water or save money or save energy, right? More energy, more footwork. Okay, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, but like that, that is, is it's kind of an obvious one. Use your common sense, a common sense, right? Don't be overthinking it. Just put it down, okay? Then let's continue with our next one. Right, calculate the range. Uh, calculate the range of the number of liters of water used during a two-minute um, shower and an eight-minute shower using a normal shower head. Now, what does range mean? Range means our max minus our min. Right. So let's look and get these different values. Let's get that value and let's get that value. So how much? It says water. How much water am I using? Two minutes. So. A two minute, it kind of looks like 30, right? I'm just going to pop that in there. Kind of looks like 30 liters, right? No, yes, 30 liters, right? That kind of makes sense because it said that we use, if we have a normal shower head, it's 15 liters per minute. So if it's two minutes, it would be 30 liters. So it's a kind of good check there. Then for eight minutes, it looks like it's going to be 120, right? We can also do a little check on our calculator and say, well, what is eight times 15, considering that every 
every minute um, there's 15 liters that go through, it's 120. So it's a good check, right? You could do it either by looking at the graph or by kind of using your common sense. So it says, what's the range? So you're going to say 120 minus 30, because remember that we say the max minus the min. Don't say 30 minus 120. That would be not right. Okay, so the range is going to be 90 liters. Please be very careful to put in your units. Remember, you can get penalized for not using your units. Right, that's us done.